And we are back now on GMA with keeping your guests and yourself healthy during the holidays as we navigate all of these COVID concerns. So joining us right now is Mr. Manners himself, Thomas Farley. Mr. Manners, welcome to GMA. Thank you, Gia. So good to be here. Oh, we are so glad you're here. Now, listen, we all want to keep COVID spread down to a minimum, of course. Now, the CDC says even those who are fully vaccinated should wear a mask in public indoor settings in communities with substantial to high transmission. So what is your advice as we think about hosting? So any good host really needs to be looking out, not just for the enjoyment of their guests, but for the guest well-being. So whereas in years past, we had to think about people's food preferences. Now we've got to think the full spectrum of preparations for COVID and also what people's comfort level are. So this is not the year to be doing your planning on a napkin. It's the year to be doing your planning as far as your guests on a spreadsheet. You want to gather as much information as you possibly can about things like vaccinations, their comfort with masking, how they feel about having an outdoor gathering if you live in a part of the country where that's possible. And this way you can then promote that so your guests know in advance what your standards will be, whatever they are, and they can decide then for themselves whether those standards are either too lax for their own standards or perhaps even too strict for their standards. I love that, polling your guests. That's really important. Now, the CDC says we should consider using a self-test before joining indoor gatherings with others who are not in your household. How can we create as safe a space as possible for our guests? Yeah, so once you know that your guests are all the ones who are attending in person are comfortable with the standards that you've set down, creating that safe space is vital. So this starts with hand sanitizer at the door for your arriving guests, fresh masks for those who have not brought their own, then thinking about things like maybe dispensing with the buffet this year and uh, communal hors d'oeuvres like nachos and bowls of snacks and rather plating things so that that way everyone's got their own plate, not worrying about spreading germs in the way that we normally would with shared food. And Thomas, real quickly, real quick, because the CDC also recommends avoiding crowded spaces before heading to an event. What's the best way to include friends and loved ones who still don't feel comfortable gathering together? It's, it's a great question, Gio, and what I suggest is we don't call these people disinvited or uninvited. We think about them perhaps as unincluded in person, but as we've learned these past two years, there are certainly ways to include people even if they're not in our presence. So have them participate over Zoom, a remote unboxing. If you're going to be opening a gift, you can do that live virtually. And also think about if they're local, sending them a package of leftovers, fun leftovers from the party the day before that they didn't attend because they felt it wasn't their place to attend. Mr. Manners, thank you for bringing your manners this morning here on GMA. Appreciate it. Thank you, Gio. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.